Happy day, all my friends. It's Happy Dinosaur 1000 coming to you with a review. And I am reviewing Space Mutiny from 1988. This film is a notoriously bad film. And I'm going to be right up front. This movie it really sucks. <laughs> it stars Cameron Mitchell. It stars also Red Brown, too. Ooh, and also, here's the plot. The bad guy named Calgon, yes, like like, like that freaking, freaking lotion you rub on your hands, and he and wants to and to go to a planet and leave the spaceship. He's been alone his entire life. So he starts a space mutiny. Right up the front, and he, uh, the Calgon in this movie is the only guy who gives a shit about this movie. He's, 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 he's overacting, he's badly acting, but he's only giving an interesting performance. But still, like, um, we get a main character play, Red Brown, um, who, who has a love of interest. Like, this, these two have no chemistry. It's like, they end together, and it's like, these people, people did not seem like they actually into each other. I'm like, the, everyone gives, like, the most basic bitch performance they can, except the guy playing Calgon. Um, to the point where it's just boring. So, like, even cameras, like, he's mostly just sitting down on the chair, which most bad movies will tell you is mostly what he does. As, and so overall, the, the one thing I will praise this movie, the effects are pretty good, but the story itself, in terms of dialogue, is terrible. Like, seriously, I can't believe these people actually have a conversation that sounds like what they do in the movie. They don't sound like real conversations. But overall, this film is just terrible. The only thing it gives us is the Red Brown screaming part. That's one of the only funny parts in this movie. We have interesting parts. Um, this film is boring, boring, and I'm giving it roughly about out of 3 out of 10. That's really what we're watching. I wish I'm trying to see you later.